while the rest of the country is actually starting to mow grass. I'm uh, still bundled up with the turf boss like we're going up to the Yukon. Gosh, it's so cold. It's like 45 and there's a slight breeze. <laughs> but uh, it's hard to believe it's been about a year since we planted all of our trees um, and they've taken root and they're actually starting to bloom a little bit, which is awesome. But we wanted to take this opportunity while it's starting to warm up because temperatures are moving in the right direction. Uh, we're gonna be in like the mid 60s, like all next week with sunny skies. So definitely going in the right direction, but Turf Boss is taking the reins once again on this one. All right, well, we're gonna prune the peach trees. Um, there's some low branches that we're gonna cut off. Mm. You know, are you certified? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I learned when you are cutting the limbs or branches um, to not go right up against the trunk of the tree. You kind of want to come out where this little, so the collar of the branch. So you're going to go right in front of that. <sighs> My hands are very strong. And so I'm just getting these lower branches. All right, so same right here. You have the collar come in. Okay. So right there, right in front of that little knob. So I'm trimming that. And then also where branches are crossing over, um, it's good for those to get trimmed off. So a same, you're just going to trim right there. Um, so now it has more air. So if you see branches crisscrossing. All right, so decision has been made to do yes. what? I think we're gonna take off these branches and then leave these for it to grow more out that way. Let it let it send all of its energy to these top branches instead right. of the lower ones. Right, exactly. Cut that off and then come in on here and cut that off. And then this one too. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And then it will start growing and sprouting more branches up and out that way. Yeah, I think that looks a lot cleaner. Yeah. But you were also saying the time of the year to do this, right? Yeah, so this is the time. March, April is the time to prune the trees. But didn't you, you also said that you can do it in summer, but preferred spring. Yeah, I think right? the only time to avoid pruning is fall and winter, that when they're trying to store their energy. That's when you don't want to right. prune off. So on this one, we're going to take yeah, off all this bottom off. growth all the way up to um, probably right there. Maybe keep uh, these. I would probably keep those. Probably this one, off. yeah, I would probably keep these and just take these bottom ones yeah. off. I'm just going to take these little ones off to give more energy to these big ones. Like that one and that one. That makes. Like just those. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like if you've got like a set of three that are nice and thick and large, if you've got little wispy ones coming off of that, that's what you want to take off. Yeah. Oh, this plant so, comes really well with it. Are you ripping up my grass? No, it's just the weed. Weeds. All right. There's like the, so is here called? is an example. So this is a nice, thick, well-developing branch. And here we got a little wispy one coming off the side of it that's what we're that's what you're cutting off yeah that's what I'm cutting off so am I good to go yep so right there and then also like these two here pruning done yeah just a few branches nice uh nice footwear oh, I think you did a good job yeah. I think we're I think we're in a good spot obviously don't pay attention to the rest of the beds and it's amazing Grass. how fast it grew because when we planted them last year, it was like, it was just like a stick. That was it was just one do. little stick. That yeah. was this tall. And now how much, look how much it's grown. It's as tall as, it's like as tall as me. Was it really just that Yeah, tall? it was just a yeah, small they stick. Yeah, were, they were only like a few weeks old when we got them, so. And so now. They're starting to show buds. Yeah. And yeah, I think we're in look a good spot. Look at the spot. maple over there. Yeah, like yeah, and I'm happy that orange goop is gone. Yeah. Yeah, so tell us about that. We discovered, what did we discover when we pulled the mulch away? Yeah, so um, there was all this orange goopy stuff around um, our kind of like jelly 
and then a neighbor was talking to me about how it's root rot. And uh, previously, like before I found that out, we sprayed that all seasons, spray all over it, and now I don't see any more. We scraped off the orange jelly stuff, and then we sprayed all of that all season spray. And I haven't seen any more orange goopy stuff, so we'll keep spraying and seeing how well that how that goes. Great technical term, <laughs> orange goopy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Very happy with where the peach trees are at. We have plans of adding, I believe, two more fruit trees back here so that we can uh, just kind of get a little orchard. Not really an orchard. I don't know what the pure definition of an orchard is. This is our version. Four fruit trees in total, I hope. So there's that. Any, uh, any last words from the turf boss? We have a lot of work to do. Turf boys have been somewhat helping. What, what is this? Weeds oh, and fire. fire. Your fire. Well, Hudson? Weeds, weeds and wood. Weeds and wood. And a little weeds and wood fire there. But. Oh, and some sticks. I didn't measure soil temperatures and they are almost at 55 degrees. I measured over the weekend and we, well, in between all the rings, we've had four straight days of rain and the ground is just saturated still now. Um, but. Soil temperatures right at about 50 degrees, not quite 55, so we're in that window when I should throw down some pre-emergent to tackle some of the weeds we got growing in and around the turf. And hopefully soon we'll be out here actually doing some real work because there is a lot of it. A lot of weeds and the beds. We gotta plant some more trees. Gotta get the garden going. No shortage of work around here. All right. Right. There we go, nice, quick, easy one. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Keep on keeping on and... Catch you in the next one. That'll work. We'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>